What is going on gamers? Avertrix here and today it's going to be a quick video. Uh, I'm just going to be doing some Lost Realm here in the background while I talk to you guys specifically about Guild Wars and where everything stands right now as far as guilds go in general. So essentially what's going on right now with Guild Wars is ever since that update where IGG said that they were going to optimize the, uh, the matchmaking system, essentially what it did is it punishes guilds that are maybe in the top 10 but not at the top like a 9, 8 because here's basically what's happening as I open this treasure trove let me see what I get a silver key got tons of those so essentially now let's take a look at let's take a look at this right here go up to might so you have blood knights arena legends blast guys you know reina dad's guild those are the top five as far as might go but if you are MXM, if you're Poland, if you're Confidence, you know, all of these guilds that are in their lower end, what, you, what you're going to see is them being matched up over and over and over and over against these top guilds. So your reward for being a top 10 guild is basically getting the toughest competition back to back to back to back. So you don't ever really get any sort of favorable matchup unless you are at the top. Now, if you are a little bit lower in the brackets, then I guess it's not too bad because everybody else is kind of matched up about evenly for the most part. But for instance, Blood Knight with, oh, how many, that's a lot of numbers. What is that? About 15 million might compared to like number 10, um, 114.2. Uh, that's a big difference. And these guys are probably going to be matched up over and over and over and over. Because the way that it works is, you know, it calculates how well you did and then they basically put the top five together and then the next top five and all of that. So these, these guilds on the bottom here are starting to break down just because they get tired of losing. And even though you're a top 10 guild, hell, maybe even top 20, your matchups are not very favorable for guild wars. And, you know, you could be a top 10 guild and get number four, number five regularly now in guild wars and that's breaking down a lot of guilds i've i've already known of three guilds that just completely disbanded just because everybody wants to go to the guild that always gets number one in guild wars which may, brings me to another point guild wars is one of the most competitive game modes right now because i mean you have arena but arena has such a random factor that i don't i wouldn't even call it that competitive when it comes to um, the game right now just because it's so random but Guild Wars you can actually control your score for the most part and the problem that I'm seeing now is that unless you're winning all of these top players want to go to a guild that's constantly winning and the only guilds that are constantly winning right now are the guilds that are at the top so that leaves the, the guilds in the, the number 10s number 15s just kind of you know losing players left and right now, I can tell you this by experience because my own guild had people leave um, and it, it's hurting the guild. And I remember when guilds used to be a place where you would play with friends. Um, you would have some competitive aspect with the game and they can help you and all of that. But now, a guild really isn't where you go to have fun with friends. A guild now, all it really means is just a means for you to get, you know, the max rewards at least at the top you know every everybody all of the top players that leave guilds they're going to the top guilds they're not they're not downgrading they're not going to a, a lower ranked guild or anything like that no they're going to the top and not because of any specific people or anything like that it's just simply because those are the guilds that are going to give them the most amount of rewards so whatever happened to guilds actually being uh, about you know you being with friends you being able to um, you know make connections with people and actually have fun with the game instead of being worried about well what can this guild do for me it's it's kind of crazy how you know guilds went from okay well this guild you know I can help this guild do this and that now it's just completely what can this guild do for me and it's it's kind of sad how guilds are just a way of collecting rewards I wish it would go back to just being, you know, where all your friends are at, or at least a majority of them, and you have fun with them. But really, the way that IGG has set this up, it's really hurting 
uh, a lot of the top guilds that aren't absolutely at the top. Now, if you're experiencing something different, let me know um, because I don't know exactly how it is working in the lower brackets. You know, if you're in the 40s or, you know, in the 30s and before this update, maybe you were going up against tons of the top guilds and you were losing a lot and now maybe you're getting evenly matched up with people in your, you know, in your bracket, maybe in the 40s and 30s and it's more of a fair fight then you know I, I don't know because I am not you know my guild isn't in the top 30 and the top 40 so I want to know exactly how everybody else is perceiving this now my guild is, uh, specifically has gotten hit really really badly because of this because we we're pretty much a top 10 guild you know when we have a, a full guild but even though we're a top 10 guild we will always get matched up with top 5 guilds and you know all the other four spots are pretty much the top guilds so people started leaving because they don't want i mean any competitive person don't want to come third fourth all the time but there's really not much you can do because you know you come fourth one time and then two people leave and then you're expected to fill those spots um with people that do better somehow you know and you can't because you know those kind of players don't fall from trees and then eventually you just you just start going down and down and down and people start getting mad and started to leave so there's really not much else that you can do except tr keep trying but some people just started trying some people just disbanded their guild like I said I know of at least three guilds that disbanded so I want to know what the overall consensus is are the only people suffering are the, the people like on the bottom 10 of the top 10 or is this like all throughout the server because I don't know how it is in the you know in the 40s in the 50s I don't know how that bracket is so I'm kinda uh, interested to see what you guys uh, tell me in the comment section I'll be looking in the comment section to see exactly what you guys think um, with that being said of course my guild is still recruiting because we do need members uh, we had a lot of members leave because of that so if you're interested let me know on my line ID it is Avatrix and I'll, like I said I'll be looking in the comment section to see what the general consensus is if overall this did more good than than bad and the only people that are suffering are pretty much the people at the bottom of the top 10 then I can see that staying and then just dealing with it but if this is all throughout then maybe another quote-unquote optimization is in order but yeah Thank you guys for watching and until later. Bye.